thinkers, independent journalists, people that are interested in freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of information. Why has Julian Assange's name suddenly returned to the lips of people interested in freedom, and why won't the mainstream discuss him? Also, we've got Dr. Well, why, one person will. Who's that? Tucker. Oh, Tucker, the old <laughs> racist. Dr. <laughs> Rod, that's a joke. Dr. Rhonda Patrick will independent journalists, people that are interested in freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of information. Why has Julian Assange's name suddenly returned to the lips of people interested in freedom, and why won't the mainstream discuss him? Also, we've got Dr. Well, why, one person will. Who's that? Tucker. Oh, Tucker, the old <laughs> racist. Dr. Rhonda, that's a joke. Dr. Rhonda Patrick will be on the show as well, and she's talking about the benefits of heat, sweet heat and cold. On our deep dive look at the news, we'll be talking about Raccoon Dog. <laughs> Raccoon Dog, was it you? Did you pandemic us so hard we couldn't go out of our houses? Did you pandemic us right in the small business? Did you pandemic us, Raccoon Dog, right in the wealth transfer? We're also going to look at that sweet heat and cold on our deep dive look at the news we'll be talking about raccoon dog <laughs> raccoon dog was it you did you pandemic us so hard we couldn't go out of our houses did you pandemic us right in the small business did you pandemic us raccoon dog right in the wealth transfer we're also going to look at that fantastic meet and greet moment where you see what happens when a, the highest paid public servant in the world meets the public it don't go well and also when an accredited scientist has a conversation about science with an ordinary member of the public it's extraordinary to see this uh, we're also going to look at that fantastic meet and greet moment where you see what happens when a, the highest paid public servant in the world meets the public it don't go well. And also, when an accredited scientist has a conversation about science with an ordinary member of the public, it's extraordinary to see. This is one of my favourite things I've seen for a long while. But we're going to start now with that other hero of the pandemic, Boris Johnson, who during the pandemic was partying like it was well, <laughs> 2019 still, the early part of it. Uh, of course, Boris Johnson famously claimed that he didn't go to any parties. Then when pressed, he said he did go to some parties but when he was at them, he didn't know that they were parties that he was at. Now his most senior advisor has revealed that he must have known that he was at a party. Johnson knew Garden Event was a party because I told him, said Dominic Cummings. And if you can't relate to that because you're an American person, don't didn't go to any parties. Then when Presti said he did go to some parties, but when he was at them, he didn't know that they were parties that he was at. Now his most senior advisor has revealed that he must have known that <laughs>